fans call Joan Collins iconic in breathtaking Hollywood throwback photo. Fans call Joan Collins iconic in breathtaking Hollywood throwback photo. Joan Collins has been a symbol of Hollywood glamour for decades, and there's no lack of photographic evidence to prove it. On Sunday, August 25th, the 91-year-old actress shared a throwback photo to Instagram that fans immediately started raving about specially because the image also featured another style icon, Elizabeth Taylor. In the pic, taken at the 1984 premiere of Comfort and Joy, Collins and Taylor stood side by side, both women wearing long, glittery gowns. Collins chose a white dress with puff sleeves for the event, while Taylor opted for blue one with silver accents. Both women accessorized with what looked like diamonds a necklace for Collins and earrings for Taylor and styled their hair in short bouffants. I always adored at Elizabeth Taylor. We had a lot in common, particularly our love of evening gowns and getting married, Collins captioned her post. Commenters couldn't get enough of the epic photo. Big hair, big shoulders, big jewellery, big beautiful dresses and big personalities. That's the way to really live life, wrote one fan. This breathtaking picture is iconic, agreed a second Instagram user. Following her death at the age of 79 from congestive heart failure, Collins wrote a heartfelt tribute for Taylor for the Daily Mail. In the piece, she recalled seeing Taylor for the first time on the big screen when she was a child, then befriending her years later on a film set. Quite simply, there never was and never will be another star like her. I first became aware of Elizabeth Taylor when I saw her in Lassie, come home when she was about 10 years old, Collins wrote. Little did I know then that I would meet Elizabeth many years later in Hollywood. We first encountered each other in the hair and makeup department of MGM, where I was shooting The Opposite Sex, my third American movie. Collins admitted that she was in awe of Taylor and her other co-stars, including Grace Kelly and Ava Gardner, but found Taylor gorgeous, down-to-earth and a touch bawdy. Shortly afterwards, Elizabeth and I went to dinner at the Lowry restaurant and chatted away girlishly. She told me that she always made the producer or director give her an end-of-picture present, Collins wrote. You must do that, too, she insisted. Careers don't last you know, they go up and down. You need to get a presence when your career is up and when it's down, recall how good it was from the amount of presence you have. <laughs>